Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of PVZ2 Eclipse. Last time we began the Night Wild West Part 2. This time we're going to be continuing it doing levels 4, 5, and 6. Now guys, just a bit of an update on the tier list. I am so sorry I've not been able to get it out to you guys. I think I promised it like 2 or 3 weeks ago I still haven't gotten it out. But I do have a free day coming up this week. I'm hoping to get it out sometime then. Like I said, I want to put like a huge amount of effort into it, but it just takes like so long. I want to talk about every plant, you know, at length to really get through it. Um, but yeah, you guys can hopefully, right, hopefully expect that within the week. All right, but yeah, let's get on with this. All right. Ask and you shall receive, User Dave. These reverse trap tiles will damage the zombies instead. They will also fire much faster, so use them to fend off this massive horde. Now this is some gun-wielding action I've been looking for. Nice job, Petty. I tried my best. Trap tiles are reversed. Okay, so we... Just... Okay, so we just put something on those tiles and then set and forget. Seems to be the strategy here. I think we want to definitely stick with the old... Uh... Strategy of... We'll imitate our sun shrooms, like always. It always seems to be the way to go. But then I'm thinking we should put out cold snapdragons in front just so we don't have to deal with the prospectors like at all. Let's see here. Where's my cold snapdragon at? So, due to the nature of these minecarts, we could definitely like weaponize something like pretty early on. Uh, so we don't have to like worry about getting all the rose covers straight away. However, I, I believe they're probably going to compensate with that. Having extra amount of zombies. Alright. Hmm. I'm bringing lightning read because we know lightning read is so totally fun to mess around with. Uh, we just need some. I'm imagining. I'm like imagining like massive amounts of zombies. So I'm thinking I'm just going to stick with like AoE plants. This might also be a good level to do the old. Uh, this strategy, perhaps, if it is a horde-based thing we're going to be dealing with. But yeah, I really should get some like basic attacking plant. Maybe, yeah, we'll go with the old classic tier two peapod. I do have it boosted after all, but we will definitely try and get all of our. Uh... Like yeah, I'm gonna hmm. I'm gonna reserve the back row for uh, potato mines, and then we'll put, just put pea pods, like one each, into the into the mine carts in the back. And I'm hoping that will be enough to deal with the hordes. Actually, they, I'm gonna put no, let me put a tile turn up there to start out with. Does the lightning re-trigger this? No, of course, I mean of course it doesn't. It's too light. I trigger this with the Sunshroom. Does it not fire? Oh, hang on. I'm, I'm trying to understand wh why it's not firing. Strange. It looked like it was firing for a bit. Maybe it has to be a zombie that triggers it, actually. Yeah, it looks like zombies trigger it. Okay, well, this isn't going too good right away. Yeah, let's put our potato mine out. I mean, I really should get like an actual damaging plant ACP. Yeah, I'm just gonna do this to get rid of that cone head. I need. I'm just doing so badly right now. I need. I, yeah, I definitely need to get like a pea pot out. I can't tell if it's just because the sun streams are too light or if only zombies can trigger those tiles. Well, there's our plant food. Let's uh, tile turn up. Let's, we're gonna do this spot right here and then we'll put this guy out right here. Put a lightning read out. Sun stream this. Oh my, he triggered, uh, he triggered the mine right as I did, oh man, that was so unfortunate. Well, I guess I'll replant that. I 
I've just completely squandered like all of my mowers. Man, I really need to get. Yeah, well, at least the lightning cloud went on that guy. I really needed something like that to happen. Yeah, let's do this. I need to get the cool sand dragons out to extinguish these guys so I don't have to worry about them anymore. Again, I really have to get a pea pot out. I don't know why I'm not focusing that down more. Oh my gosh. This is such a mess, but it's my mess. Okay, first pea pod. Now I can focus down rows, I need extra help. I'm gonna put some extra sun troops down here. Of course, we're always gonna just keep on spamming those lightning reeds. Dang, are they good. I think I, it, it would really benefit me, though, to get the, um... Was it the uh, the last the, the other cold snap dragon out? Just so I can make sure the prospectors never get to go off. There we go. Now everything gets nice and frozen. Oh, I really should put lightning reeds on the potato mine spaces. That would make sense. Get those extra lightning clouds. Dang, I did not, like, utilize these spaces at all. Like, I, granted, I think if I actually, like, used... The, like, I, if I tried to preserve the mowers, I think... I would not be as well off as I am right now. Well, hmm. There, may as well do this. I'm gonna speed everything along here. So that wipes out pretty much everyone. Anything left has to deal with the lightning clouds. Alright, nice job, Lightning Reed. He did it again. That was definitely an absolute mishmash of strategies. Oh, we're still going. I guess there's just one piano left. I just noticed the name of the level was Footloose. Kind of like Footloose, but... I guess it was the whole play on words, you know? Because Footloose is all about dancing. We had all those dancing zombies to fight back against. Alright, survive with a special seed bank and nine seed slots. Massive horror chickens will only come at late, late game. Ooh! What, what, what is a special seed bank? Special seed bank, okay. Oh, you get lightning read? No. Nets. Okay, so first off, let's figure out ways of how can we deal with the uh, chickens. Massive hordes of chickens. I'm not seeing anything that can immediately deal with that. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know what to do about these chickens. What? Wait, does I- Oh, Ice Shroom gets rid of them, doesn't it? But it's- I don't know if it'll all come at once, though. Hang on, what happens when you tear up Ice Shroom? Yeah, the cost goes up, but... Yeah, the recharge becomes less. I don't know how long this level is. I think I'll just keep it at tier 3, or tier 1. Oh, they're giving me cactus- I just noticed they're giving me cactus. Okay. So that is a way we can deal with chickens. We just have to put cactus super far up front. Uh, and the, the chickens will walk all over that. We also have bulls. Yeah, we'll definitely keep bringing the imitated sun shroom. And we'll bring the ice shroom for a quick just like wipe out of everything on screen. Yeah, what is what what do I want to do? I honestly have no idea. They're giving me plenty of minecarts to work around with too. I think I want to bring a tall nut just so I don't have to worry about the bulls too much. So 
It's kind of weird how they gave me Magnetrium, but there's nothing Magnetrium will be useful against here. I wonder what the thought process is when figuring out this seed bank. Hmm. I think I might just go with the old classic, like, um, Peapod. Oh, no, I don't have Peapod. Yeah, you know what? Let's do, uh, Primal P in that case. Uh, oh, we can bring Puff Shrooms, too. Puff Shrooms should be good for stalling Gargantuars. And then I probably just want some kind of stalling plant. Do I have Slow Down? Oh, I can bring Ice Shroom. Or Ice, or Snow Pea, rather. And I do have another seed slot. There's that to consider. I think I'm going to struggle. Well, I have Puff Shroom get me through the early game. I'm just thinking what else I would want. I have so many options. They're giving me Tile Turn, but I don't know how many... Uh... Yeah, I just don't know if I'll get enough plant food. Oh, this is so tricky, guys. I never know what to do for these levels. I, I really like them. I like how you get to pick. Or, like, you get, you get limited options about what you get to do. I know, uh... I think I'm just gonna bring Hurricane just to, like, really stall Gargantuars. And also for emergencies. Alright, let's put our Sun Shrooms in that column to start out with. I want to do a line of... I don't I honestly don't know what I want to do. Because the cactus need to be, like, relatively up front, right? If we want to deal with the chickens. And plus they're also close range, you know, so that makes sense. I really shouldn't... I need the space for more sun shrooms, honestly. Dang it, Imp. Why'd you do that? I might just blow back this uh, cone head. Actually, you know what? Let's put a wall tall nut here. This will stop... Um, I can use it to manipulate the bulls without having to spend too much on stopping them. Let's put more sun shrooms here. Yeah, I really should put Sunshrooms in the back here. So let's stall you. Let's move you to block that. Definitely keep putting out the... The Sunshrooms ASAP. Alright, Primal... I think we probably want to get Snow Peas out first. The Cactus can come later. I'll just freeze everything right now. Is that Puff Shroom going to be able to hit him? No. Okay, I'm going to need to put a Puff Shroom in the back there. Maybe we'll need to move that guy. Mm -hmm. Let's get our Snow Pea out to help deal with that. And we'll replace those Sun Shrooms later. Okay, okay. I would say everything's going pretty well so far. I'm gonna get a Primal P for this minecart. I really should start thinking about getting some cactus out. Yeah, I'm gonna put the cactus out front here. There's her kill these guys back. I'm gonna heal this tall nut now. Yeah, that cactus is only there for chickens later. I really don't have much use of it right now.
Uh, Gargantuar. Okay, we need full throttle in this guy. Yeah, let's put the. Let's get another primal pee in this cart. Oh, I need a toll nut here. Let's put that there to deal that imp. You know, let's start putting a cactus. You know, maybe like in this column where the puff shrooms were originally. I think this will be fine. Probably a good time to do a freeze as well. Let's definitely get those snow peas out in every row. Those definitely do a lot of help. They do help quite a bit. There, uh, let's replace you with another primal pea. Okay, there we go. Full snow peage. Oh, you the cactus doesn't duck down against the bulls? That's kind of stupid. And of course, as soon as I do that, right? I put a cactus down in front of that bull. I'll put tall nuts out in front, but I'm only... This is only to stop bulls from coming out, like, right now. It's a, The chickens will definitely get through. The like, tall nuts later. Here, let's just put another primal pea up there. I need another primal pea down here because of this bull. Okay, yeah, things are going pretty smoothly. We got two plant food in the bank. Oh, there's two bulls at the bottom right now. Okay, let's move this here. Full, full firepower on that row. We'll place these as well. Maybe I should plant for just the, the cactus. Yeah, those are because those are permanent upgrades. Let's just do those. Oh, let's get another primal pea out. Yeah, because I definitely didn't need the extra like plant food effect to get through these these waves with the gargantuars. We want to save the plant food for permanent upgrades. That that'll be beneficial for later. I guess I'll replace this with a uh, primal piece now. Oh yeah, and I should get a cactus out for this spot right here. And bring on the chickens. I'm also gonna be ready for the final wave with like the ice room as well. Here, let's use an ice room right now actually. We might need it. Very nice, very nice. I think I'm gonna put cac. Actually, I don't know what to do. I'm gonna replace this this row with uh, more primal peas. You never go wrong with more primal peas. Yeah, luckily the the cacti are in place to prevent the chickens from doing any major harm. I wasn't expecting them to come out this early, though. I will say. Definitely a bit of a shock. Let's just plant food with the cactus now. And I think as long as we can keep the uh, gargantuars away from the cactus, we'll be totally fine. There's nothing about the setup I really want to change now. I think we've achieved perfection.
Yeah, there's no way this Gargantuar is getting through this. I'm just going to fast forward through the rest of this. Come on, bring on the final wave. I can take it. Huge wave. All right, Ice Room at the ready. Okay, that got rid of like a good decent chunk of the chickens, but they still managed to come out quite a bit after that. Are we already done? Oh no, here comes, here comes the after party. It looks like we'll need help up top there. I still haven't, I've barely used this for a trail, like at all. Oh, they ate one of my sun dreams. No. He was all fully grown up. Alright, not bad, not bad. That was, that was a bit of an easier level. Alright, let's see what level 6 has in store for us. Hopefully it's a, a bit more challenging. So far, I mean, granted, like, the first, like, level I lost all my mowers, but it was still, I would say, relatively easy. Dang, so we got arcade guys and the... And the uh, the cone max. Are these trap tiles reversed? I assume they're probably normal. You know, if I just had to guess. So our, our whole defense is gonna have to come down to don't let anything get over to this line here. Well, here's the thing: we have a little bit of flexibility with this. Like we can we can create like one safe path through if we need stuff to get through. Let's see, I was thinking, could electric current possibly work for this? We would need some very heavy firepower. You know, I'm I'm stupid. Let's try electric current. Let's see how it works. Let's get our sun shroom out. We'll imitate it for sure. Uh, you will definitely need some pumpkinage. And we probably should bring the power lily as well. To get that plant food effect. And then we need some like very heavy firepower in the top and bottom rows. You know, I mean like very heavy. I'm thinking even like lava guava would be very good at protecting the electric currents in that row. Because yeah, we're just gonna build up tons and tons of sun in the back. I think I might do, yeah, just do tier three sapling. Uh, the problem is I'm gonna struggle super early game with this. I wanna see how this actually goes. I can always use the, I can always just rely on the mowers to get me through the beginning. I'll put the saplings in the very back. Yeah, I assume these are just regular trap tiles and they don't benefit me. Just gonna move those out of the way for you, bub. I might even just mower this guy just to like survive long enough. You know, just to like delay the waves as long as possible. But he's gonna have to walk through the sapling to reach me. So he'll be there for a while. Okay, uh, next guy coming there. Oh, there's two guys. Mm, can I... I'm not earning sun quite as fast as I would wish. But maybe I can get this out now. Come on, sun shrooms, I believe in you. Just a little more, a little more. Two more of you make sun, please. There we go. Is that going to be able to get that guy? Okay, we're gonna mower this guy. Okay, we're, I think we're in business. New buckethead already. 
We need to get out this second electric current. There, just do lava guava now. No, oh, you're gonna have to move up here. Why didn't you move up, my dude? You're not affected by sweet potato. Excuse me. Rude. You're supposed to die. Well, dang, this guy is gonna eat. Uh, yeah, this guy's gonna totally destroy me. Uh, I can't do anything about these guys. Yeah, well, I can plant food this guy now. Let's destroy all these. We'll put this back. Okay. I need another sapling here. Can I put sunshrooms on these tiles without having them trigger? I'm not sure if I can or not. Let's try and uh, build up another thing of electric currents here. I'll put the sweet potato out there. Let's see, how fast does this guy eat stuff? He definitely eats. Yeah, okay, he eats like very quickly. Also, these guys have managed to get through, unfortunately. Let's see if I can't fix that. Okay, okay. We're fine, I can't put stuff right there, but that's fine. Let's plant food this guy now, increase that, the power of that electrical field. Again, this is either the stupidest idea I've ever done, or the best. I need to definitely beef up- oh wait, no, that's just gonna destroy it next- oh no. I need more lava guavas. Oh, like, oh, the cone heads in the top and bottom aren't going to be affected by that. Okay, well, we're going to definitely just put a Lava Glove out here. Make sure he doesn't munch on that. Let's definitely keep our sweet potatoes happy and healthy. There, we need to pull this guy down. Are you gonna push that? Are you serious, dude? You don't get affected by that. Well, this is not going too well. Yeah, because the arcade cabinet's coming in the top and bottom rows definitely suck. I mean, lava guava, lava guavaing those spaces definitely help. Seems to help. Here, I think I'm gonna replant through that space there. We definitely need the boosted electric fields to get us through this. I'm saving this lava glover for when stuff shows up, you know. I think I'm just gonna put um, some electric currents back here, so if anything does get through, I have like a secondary field. I mean, I have so much extra sun, I may as well do it, you know. Seal that guy up. Yeah, let's just keep going down the line here, adding more electric currents just for safety. Okay, 
Okay, so that's the. Oh, dang it. Can I lava go with this? Can you stop, dude? I don't want you pushing that. Don't push that! No! That was a boosted electric current. You have no idea how much you just cost me. I'm just gonna put another sweet potato out in the middle here. And we, we definitely need to boost this. We need extra damage. Yeah, this is not the best strategy. Let's uh, replace this on Shroom, even though he just grew up. Yeah, don't destroy my sweet potato, please. Luckily, I got plant food. Okay, let's sweet potato everyone into this row. So there, now the arcade guys can't even come out. Put a lava glob in front of that arcade cabinet. Die, stupid mechs, die! Just... Yeah, my or my only mowers that I missed here on the top and bottom, just because those rows were so undefended. Yeah, I totally forgot to bring like something offensive that I could put in the back, like a pea pod, to prevent stuff, prevent stuff like that from happening. Yeah, guys, I think that's where I'm going to call the episode here for today. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, next time, we'll be doing levels 7 and 8. And the episode after that will be 9 and 10. So, yeah, guys, I hope you have a good day. I will talk to you later. Bye.